going to be getting into our match, though. What the? Uh, no, seriously, what the hell is this? Um, okay, so I will give some credit, right? Kaina playing Yumiko, so having a little bit of bow practice as well. And uh, Lorez, of course, being good at Kaya. So why not? I, I guess. It's just really strange, but you know what? Hey, it is what it is. I mean, that, those, the six are egregious. I mean, th th this is something you, uh, that we're not going to see uh, quite as much, but I do think that uh, it's going to find a lot of successes. These very fast, lingering SIGs that um, Azoth have. So. Do you think they're trying to scare them? Because, like, if I was like, hey, you know, we got to go do our doubles match, and you run into two skeletons, that's, that's spooky, right? Yeah. They even got the bone axe. Like, the drip is on point, I'm too. I'm scared. They got the, the skeletons pirate. Skeletons are spooky. They, they, this is scary. <laughs> and actually, it is right now because uh, they're actually playing really, really well. Yeah. All things considered, you know, I was definitely a little bit like shocked to see it just because like I wasn't expecting these characters. But you know what? Uh, they're playing hot. Oh my! Oh to, my to goodness. give some benefit of what the doubt, is, oh. I, I do think maybe they were cooking this for when, like maybe later in the bracket as an obscure counter pick. But it's do or die now in elimination side. So I don't know if this is like an obscure counter pick. I think I think they're flexing. As, no, as, is, as much as you can with just bones. This looks legit, man. I don't know. Like, they, they're up five. I mean, you know, you're well, about to lose your It's legit because they're two of the best players in the world. Yeah, like. okay. All right. That's, that, that, that's a good point. I mean, that, that, that is a good point. I will give you that. <laughs> but, yeah, this is, this, is definitely, uh, this is definitely something right now. So, once a, a six stock to two lead, now it's four stocks to two. And, uh, you know, blue team's starting to make a little bit of noise here. But you know what? I'm not going to say too little too late. It is only game one. Yeah, and as, I, as we say that, Akuma finding a KO, and so does Vecina, so it's down oh, to wow. a last stock situation. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, they both, they both set up 1v1s, one on the sword, one on the gauntlet, and they both were able to capitalize. They didn't even need to help each other out. They just said, uh, we're going to be able to do it here, and that is kind of the um, problem with playing Azoth is you have two kind of lackluster recoveries. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it Sometimes it's better just to throw your weapon away and then recover up into the weapon, then pick it up again. Uh, unarmed recovery might be a little bit better than... Uh, these uh, two very telegraph recoveries. Yeah. And the SIG connections have only been really finding success on the bow, but there are even some team damage. But the red team coming right back, though, with that down SIG. And Lorez flying around the map with the Azov, getting the down SIG to close out the stock on Vecina. Then a jump, dash jump, side air on Akuma. So it worked. So, like, now, now my question is, like, do you do this again? Yes. Do you? It looks like, yeah, there <laughs> they are. But, like, that's just so weird. Like, they came out four socks immediately, and then blue team answers with four socks of their own. Yep. And then they're like, okay, we'll just take the last two. Whatever, you know. <laughs> and they're sticking with it, man. <laughs> it's kind of a scary team. They kind of, they they they're running drift. the same stance and everything. Yeah, same stance. They got, uh, they're both pirate themed. Of course, you know, our backdrop is uh, Shipwreck Falls, so it, it makes sense. And maybe it's a little, like, type matchup, because I think Vecina is all, or Vecina on Sidra is a pirate too. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it, I'm making that up. Is that? Is Lord's skin a pirate skin? It looks more like a festival type thing. Uh, maybe. maybe. Maybe he's like one of the, like, uh, Kaina is the captain and Lord's is one of the shipmates. I think you're making up lore. Uh, maybe. No S. Baron can let me know for sure. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> nice down sick. And it's, it's working, I'm so, man. I'm already so sick of these sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, anybody that's played any ranked uh, knows the sounds of Azoth 6 all too well. Um, and even at the highest level of play, you're going to be hearing a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, it, it's good. You know, just keep doing it. I think this is who Dara plays, too. Dara, Dara likes the skeletons yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Dara thinks, like, Azoth is crazy. Okay, and a double pickup. I don't know how Loris lost their stock, but they did, and uh, now it's a two stock apiece for both teams. Mm -hmm. All Four right. Four stocks in total. Well, right now, kind of just dancing around here. Blue team was able to answer back and not go, you know, allow Red to go on a four stock rampage oh. like game one. So that's good. Yeah. I have to do these sounds, man. There's so many screams. It's spooky. Yeah, we're only in July. Uh, you know what? We have Christmas oh, in July. Oh, the double down sick connection. And Lorez doesn't want to be upstaged by Kaina. Finds a connection with that recovery to tap in that stock. And another big stock lead with two down sick connections on the Axe. I was kind of talking about how the Axe Sigs weren't finding a lot of uh, usage, or at least activation, but there it did. And nice gravity cancel down light into the ground pound. Lorez looking for the reversal here as you're up a stock. Charging the ground pound. Didn't find it. Akuma oh. finds the reversal. And uh, again, another uh, last stock situation uh, as they're able to equalize immediately off of a big lead. All right, well, now we got that bow in hand. Let's see how this plays out right now. All right, kind of. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Kind of just put in so much work at the end there. Oh, my. 
And now the 2v1 scenario, Vecina gonna have to be working hard here to try and take out these skeletons. Now remember, when you when you break skeletons down, you have to hit them again in order to actually knock them out. That's every game mechanic because they'll reassemble afterwards. Yeah, and uh, not only do you have to deal with the one, but the second one as well. But Vecina looking to deal with that one quickly, the recovery there, but getting punished going a little bit too far off stage. In ones, you can get away with doing that because you don't have another skeleton flying at you, but Lorz is able to capitalize. You have to recover low there. You barely make it back after burning that last exhausted recovery, um, but it was just too easy for Loris, who just dash jumps and charges that ground pound. Yeah, see, that's like a, it's like a festival design. Is that like a Day of the Dead type festival design thing? Or? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm not sure. He's the jester, and Kaina is the captain of the ship. D okay, first of all, <laughs> That is completely wrong. There was not like a jester role. Oh, it's it's like a um because the weapon he's got right there. That's more of like a uh, tribal thing. Yeah, like Aztec type deal. So maybe it's like an Aztec. Get Who up? knows? Anyway, but anyway, the jester. There was not a jester on a pirate ship. That jester was for the king. You don't think there was one guy that was crazy? Yeah, with there's it, probably always some, goofy, there's some goofy guy everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the jester on the comms table, right? Yeah, that, ain't that, ain't that the when last is working, he's the jester in, in the production room, there right? You go. Yeah, everybody has a jester, right? You know what jester's privilege is? I have no idea. I look it up afterwards. All I right, all right. It. We won't I get into it. it now. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they are going to be uh, holding on to the double A's off here. We see a counter pick from Akuma off the Wushong into the JU, and it hasn't been working, though, as the red team have had oh, quite a you. big of a lead already. The downstick comes in, catches a little bit of team damage, but it works out in a big way. And uh, oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a look at this. The, what is this team combo? The, that was the, insane. The blue team's kind of the jester of this match right now because They're, they are looking like fools. And, and that's no offense, no offense, but it's just red team is, oh, is just man. something else right now. Laura's letting the side. Six rip kind of getting uh, in there with the axe doing so much damage they're playing like perfectly in sync like an undead army i mean this is rough man you're getting swarmed by the skeletons it, oh, so who's the lich then because there's got to be like a lich for like an undead army or a necromancer i don't know hmm. new we're getting we're getting into Brahala, we're getting in, new brawlhalla legend a necromancer we're, we're getting we're getting into the to, to the darker reaches of the Brawlhalla community. We're, we're diving too too deep. We have too to deep. back out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to get into the, to the... I'm not trying to be on their radar. For sure. All right. Well, anyway, uh, blue team oh. does answer back, getting two stocks in the process here. Thank goodness. But red team is just still looking so dominant, man. Nice. Uh, avoiding that grab yep. on from Akuma, reversing the oh. situation. Uh, looking for a double here. He's still going to get a hit. Laura is really, <laughs> I think, really looking for the double. Yeah, Laura's I, got the first one, and he said, I'm just going to sit here and charge a little bit. And Akuma, like, thankfully was able to find a way to keep them both alive. My goodness. Yeah, and another recovery from uh, Loris to close out that stock. The weapon toss interrupting that sig, and another <laughs> down sig. That's like seven down six. I think four of them connected or something ridiculous. And uh, it's a 2v1 situation. Vecina, in good spirits, Sorry. looking to play it out, catching Kaina with their own down sig. <laughs> this is disrespectful. This is this is a top six. And you're seeing this in top six. Now imagine like what you see like when these guys are playing like some of the teams in pools. Oh, it's like over. what they're doing there. Oh my Laura's, goodness. All right, Laura's cool. didn't need to let's do just, that to him. Let's just wrap that up. On the unarmed, two hits to close out that stock as the red team move forward with a dominant 3-0 on double Azoth. Sometimes it just works. You see that shipwreck falls in the background. And I'm I seeing them offline after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, all right, man. I'm like, bro, I thought we were friends, man. What, what is this?